Yes, Ben, that video inside the courtroom is exclusive. This is where police say that shooting occurred more than 10 years ago. A very big day for Ansonia police and the family of homicide victim Isaiah Hernandez. Detectives say the freedom that two local 29 year old men enjoyed over the past decade is over. I mean, for us, it was considered a cold case. And now a major break. Only Fox 61 was in Milford Superior Court for Tuesday's arraignment of 29-year-old Luis Marquez in the March 2011 shooting death of Isaiah Hernandez outside this Wakely Avenue gas station. He's charged with felony murder, first-degree robbery, and conspiracy to commit robbery. Mr. Marquez is somewhat distinguishable given that um, as uh, detailed in the uh, very thorough uh, warrant from the Sony Police Department, uh, Mr. Marquez is alleged to have been the uh, shooter in this particular incident. And Sonia police say they found Marquez in bed in Waterbury when they and the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force came knocking at 6 a.m. He did not expect uh, to see the people that he saw where he was at. Um, there's a sense of relief and there's a sense of closure for us that we can help the family maybe move forward a little bit. Also facing the same charges as Marquez is 29 year old Elijah Stanford in March. We asked investigators about a possible motive. They were known to each other and they were meeting. They were in Mr. Hernandez's car in the parking lot uh, when the robbery occurred and then the shooting occurred after that. Now, also today in court, the judge granted the prosecutor's request to make sure that the arrest warrant affidavit is under seal until later on this month. So when we get more details, once that is unsealed, we will let you know. And Sonia police telling us they do expect a third arrest to be coming very shortly. And that third individual is a man, they say, who is locked up already. We are live in Ansonia tonight. Jill Kanopka, Fox 61 News. Back to you.